Andy Warhol, From A to B and Back Again, is currently on view at the Whitney Museum of American Art. This extensive exhibition of legendary artist Andy Warhol is the first retrospective organized in the U.S. since 1989. They've been working on this retrospective of my uncle Andy Warhol for, for several years, and it's curated by Donna DeSalvo, and she's an incredible um, art historian uh, type person who who specialized in a lot of what Andy Warhol did, and she knew his entire career and entire uh, life story and how he became as important as he has. So uh, she put together a great collection of his artwork. It, it took a lot of work to borrow uh, from other institutions, from big collectors, and bring all this art together in one place. Uh, the last time there was a retrospective here in New York was in 1989 at the Museum of Modern Art. Uh, there's been many Ar Warhol art shows ever you know, since then, but not very many retrospectives. And so this retrospective is going to be important. Why is his work holding up so well? I mean, I think it's because his work was very influential with other artists. And you wouldn't have known that back in 87. I think it, in the last 20 to 30 years, uh, people have looked at other artists. I mean, like for a period of time, everybody looked at Picasso and uh, saw how he was changing uh, the path of art. And I think they look back on the later 20th century, and that's where my uncle came in, and they saw that his work was uh, really important and it influenced them. So now uh, it almost, you know, almost the, 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 uh, the concept that art can be anything. Andy pushed that concept. It could be an installation, it could be film, it could be uh, photographs, it, it could be anything. I mean, I just think it's so much more interesting when you've actually met someone, you know, as opposed to studying someone who existed just within the realm of art history. So for me, it kind of sparked my real engagement with his work and um, seeing him just as an artist as opposed to a myth. And that, you know, really was very instrumental in my work over the years with Warhol. I only know him a short time, but even just getting to do one exhibition with him just sort of set me off, I think, on this. So my interest in him has always been more with the art than with him as a personality. Warhol is someone who comes of age during a certain technological explosion of TV and increasingly uh, more use of photography. But I think Warhol's work speaks to a digital era, frankly, that we are in. There were systems of distributions and networks that Warhol uh, was, uh, that was the era in which he lived. Uh, but I think he, had, he was very attuned to them and maybe even ahead of the time. So I think that's why somehow the work feels extremely appealing today.